Hello and welcome to a very quick video showing you how to eliminate some of the lag and buffering that has been on Twitch lately. Um, if you're like me, and you probably are since you clicked this video, you've experienced a video buffering uh, on Twitch even though your internet connection is fine and stuff like that. So a, I found out a quick and easy way to fix this is by using a program called Livestreamer and using VLC media player to watch it in. So you want those two pieces of software. So first you want to download VLC media player. I'll put links to both of these in the description. Just download the XE installer here and preferably use the default location when you install it. Um, then you want to download Livestreamer. Um, second link in the description, just grab the first one. It doesn't really matter too much, just an X as well. Um, and then once they're both downloaded, when you download Livestreamer, it'll uh, open a configuration file, pretty much like a notepad file. Um, and it'll tell you uh, all the info you need in that. It's just if you download it or if you install VLC Media Player in a different location to the default one, you'll have to um, to write that in that configuration file so uh, Livestream knows where uh, VLC is installed. So once you have those two downloaded and installed, you want to open your command prompt by typing CMD in the start menu. Um, in here, you'll just write Livestreamer to launch it, and then you want a link to the video you want to watch. So let's just grab whatever video here, um, or a, a, a live stream, um, paste it in. You can't use Control V because it's command prompt, so you want to right click and say paste. Then uh, after that, you type space, and you can choose the quality. It could be mobile, low, medium, high, source, uh, worst, or best. So I'm going to choose best, type enter. Wait a few seconds for it to launch, and it should open VLC Meteor Player and show the very, very loud video in here. Um, so there you go. That's actually basically how you watch live streams uh, using Livestreamer. Uh, you can still experience a little bit of buffering and lagging. Uh, a way to possibly fix that is by closing VLC Meteor Player, go into your command prompt, just type. Um, there we go. Just uh, use the up arrow to get the last line you typed. So just type the same thing and then press enter again and do this a few times until it's fine. It's just, it'll try finding a different server and uh, give you uh, different priorities and stuff. So hopefully at the end it should find some place that's good enough for you uh, so it won't be buffering. Uh, another quick tip, uh, this is for if you just want to watch live streams and stuff, but if you want to watch VODs, so video on demand, uh, offline videos like this one for example, and you want to skip to like a different timestamp, you can uh, use the same, exactly the same thing if you want to watch this, just use this link. But if you want to jump to like four hours in, you can't do that uh, using Livestreamer. Then you'll have to add a parameter to the link you put in here. So you want to watch, uh, write Livestreamer like you did before, then the link then the quality and then space, then you want to add this parameter. I'll put this in the description as well. Uh, so if you add this at the end, it'll force it to use the HLS format um, instead of flash or whatever. Um, just mean it'll take a little longer to launch here, by the way. But it just means you can use like the scroll bar down here in video. Uh, uh, we'll see media player to like skip around in the video. You can't otherwise. Uh, so that's just a quick tip, because I like to do that. This is like, what, a 10 hour long video, so it might be nice to like be able to skip around, I guess. Um, it might be a little slow, it, it still needs to load, it's not like you just download the video instantly. Um, but it works so much better than just watching it uh, directly from Twitch, I find at least. So I hope it does for you as well. Uh, again, if it's not working properly, just close VLC, try doing it again here a few times, see if it works. Otherwise, I don't know what could be the cause, but uh, I've never, I haven't experienced any trouble using this uh, the time I've used it. Um, so it's, it's fixed it for me, at least. So uh, I hope it does for you as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you another time.